the decommissioning of the Dual and Tiage nuclear power plants, an exciting industrial challenge with a focus on safety and professionalism. After 40 to 50 years of safe operation, the seven Belgian nuclear power plants will one by one stop generating electricity, ushering in the final phase of their life cycle, decommissioning. But what does decommissioning entail? Well, after electricity production is stopped, we will first prepare the nuclear power plant for safe decommissioning. During this period, known as the post-operational phase, all nuclear fuel and other loose highly radioactive materials will be removed from the plant. First, our specialized teams will remove the highly radioactive fuel elements from the reactor. These fuel elements provided heat energy through nuclear fission for about five years. After nuclear fission stops, the rods continue to give off residual heat for a long time. That's why we will first allow the rods to cool underwater in the fuel pools for about three years. Once they have cooled sufficiently, the fuel rods will be loaded into specially designed secure containers, pending a final storage solution, which will be provided by ONDRAF NIRAS, the National Agency for Radioactive Waste and Enriched Fissile Materials. We will transfer these containers to the temporary storage buildings at the Dual and Tiage plants. In the meantime, the primary circuit of the nuclear power plant will be cleaned. This circuit held the water that was heated in the nuclear reactor. The walls of the pipes will therefore contain radioactive particles which will be dislodged using a high-tech chemical process and then trapped in resins. This will significantly reduce the radiation level during subsequent decommissioning. During the post-operational phase, we will also remove loose highly radioactive materials such as control rods from the fuel pools. At the same time, we can start dismantling and demolishing buildings and systems outside the nuclear area that are no longer needed once we get the necessary permits to do so. And once FANC, the Federal Agency for Nuclear Control, gives the green light, we can start the actual dismantling of the nuclear systems. Some key activities that will take place during this phase. First, we will remove the reactor vessel's internal components, and then we will remove the reactor vessel itself. Because of the high level of radioactivity, these parts will be cut into pieces remotely using thermal or mechanical cutting techniques. Next, the primary circuit will be emptied and dismantled. During this phase, one of the biggest challenges will be removing the steam generators. These giant components used to generate the steam to power the turbines can be up to 20 meters tall. The thick reinforced concrete wall providing additional protection to the reactor vessel will be cut up and disposed of. Finally, all of the remaining equipment will be removed and the buildings will be cleaned. Once all radioactive components have been removed from the building, it can be demolished. As a final step, the soil will be cleaned up and the ground will be prepared to be repurposed. These are large-scale and major infrastructure works, throughout which our full attention will be on the safety of our employees. After the sites have been cleared, which will be in the 2040s, according to current estimates, new industrial activities can be developed. Throughout the decommissioning process, the focus will be on reducing waste. By the way, did you know that 98% of this waste is conventional waste, which we will process and recycle whenever possible? The radioactive waste will be treated and processed to minimize its volume. As you can see, the decommissioning of our seven nuclear power plants is a very large, complex industrial and technological process. Its preparation and execution require years of work. Our nuclear power plants teams are ready to tackle this project with professionalism and in complete safety, just like they have done during the many years of operation. International experience is integrated into our approach. We have opted for innovative solutions and will apply the highest national and international standards under the strict supervision of the nuclear control authorities. And just like the operation of our nuclear power plants, we will also carry out the decommissioning as nuclear professionals, completing the project in a safe, socially responsible and environmentally friendly way.